Good morning, Rangers. This is Umair. And this is Cheyenne. Today is Tuesday, February 4th. Attention, Rangers. Remember that you may be able to have spring exam exemptions. To be able to have exemptions, you cannot have more than four absences this semester in a class. Remember that three tardies equal an absence for exemption purposes. You must have at least an 80 in the class and not have any disciplinary removals or DAEP or JJAEP. In addition, you must pass your STAR EOC for the course if it requires one. Finally, you cannot have an, any outstanding fees and fines from the school. Freshmen and sophomores could potentially exempt three courses from core areas, math, science, social studies, or ELA. Juniors can exempt four from core areas. Seniors are eligible to exempt all courses, including electives. There's a climate assembly in the upstairs lecture hall February 19th, 3 to 5 p.m. Ask Sydney Baines for more info. Graduation is around the corner. Let's go to Sahar and Jack Jackie to find out what colleges our seniors are going to. Hi, I'm Jackie. Today I'm going to be asking people what colleges you're going to. Hi, I'm here with Jake, Vinay. Um, Jake and Vinay, what colleges are you guys going to? Uh, I'm going to go to Texas Lutheran University. I'm going to uh, U of H. Uh, why? Uh, because, uh, for one, they have a really good business program, and I'm going to major in accounting, so that's just going to put me in a, in a good place. And Vinay, why U of H? Uh, because my sister already goes there, and she said she likes it a lot, so. Very cool. Hi, I'm here with? Mario de Pavia. And Mario, what college are you going to? Stanford University. Uh, why Stanford? Um, well, I pioneered the field of American psychology, and I'm hoping to become a psychiatrist, so um, it's a school that kind of matched my career goal. Thank you, Mario. Hey, Thank guys, you. I'm here with... Abram Moore. What college are you going to, Abram? U of H to study business. And uh, why did you choose U of H? Uh, I would like to start a company. I want to make a company where we sell shoes online and at store, and even though it's going to be a small business, I would like, you know, have give other small business a chance and let just know that small businesses also can compete with bigger businesses like Foot Locker and fin Finish Line. So, yeah. Okay, thank you, Abram. Thanks for watching and back to the anchors. Thanks, guys. And now to Abed and Aspen with the Super Bowl. Hi, Rangers, and welcome to Sports with Aspen. On Sunday, the Kansas City Chiefs won against the San Francisco 49ers in Miami, Florida for the 54th annual NFL Super Bowl. The Chiefs in the beginning started the game with the lead by making the first touchdown of the game, but they ended up letting the 49ers offense, led by Jimmy Garoppolo, get ahead of their defense, allowing them to catch up in the second quarter, tying up the game. In the third quarter, the Chiefs finally caught up with the 49ers with Patrick Mahomes making three touchdowns, making the score 20 to 31. Shakira and Jennifer Lopez dominated the halftime show with the performance heavily influenced by Latino culture. They brought back several fan favorite hits, exciting the audience and setting the bar extremely high for future Super Bowl performers. Shakira played multiple instruments and Jennifer sang along with her daughter. What a great show. Now back to you, anchors. Thanks, y'all. Balfour will return to the school on Friday, February 28th, to take more orders for senior cap and gowns. Students' parents can also order the cap and gowns online on the Balfour website at any time. We have many items in the office lost and found. Please come to the front office if you have lost anything. Cold weather is still here and will be freezing again throughout the week. Stay warm, Rangers. Happy birthday, Coach Brunson. Rangers, don't forget to wish him happy birthday. Today we have a varsity girls basketball game against Dulles High School at CHS. 7 o'clock p.m. and varsity boys basketball game against Dulles High School at Wheeler. 7 o'clock p.m. Please congratulate the art students for all their hard work and dedication. We had over 60 artworks awarded with gold key, silver key, and honorable mention.
Our dance teams competed at the North Houston Regional Competition hosted by Crowd Pleasers at Cy Woods High School this past weekend on February 1st. Many awards were won and we are extremely proud of our dance teams. The Clemens Boys Swim Team is the 2020 Regional V-6A Champions. We have a new AED outside in the girls' tennis court's bathroom. February is a National Heart Health Month. I challenge you to get out and be active 30 to 60 minutes a day. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the U.S. and it's 80% preventable. National Wear Heart Day, the first Friday each February. We announce, we encourage students and staff to wear red and take action to live longer, healthier lives. Saturday morning, several of our students competed at the University of Houston High School Math Contest. The students did very well, earning several awards and winning the contest overall. Choir is continuing their 20-year tradition of selling singing valentines. They will be sold from February 3rd to 7th during the all lunches. Valentines include a song, carnation, card, and a lollipop. Valentines will be delivered on February 10th, 11th, and 12th during fourth period by members of Varsity Mixed Choir. Now on to some current events. Jeff Bezos' net worth jumps by over $12 billion after Amazon's big quarter. Guntersville police arrest man after teens set up amateur to catch a predator sting. LeBron James gets a Kobe tribute tattoo. Have, Have a nice day. day.